Hey what's up guys this is Shukesh once again and today I for you a hardcore gaming review on the Lenovo ZUK Z1 I have the Indian retail version and I feel that this is the best gaming phone in the mid range category it has everything a gaming phone should have so even before I start the gaming review I am telling you guys if you are looking for a gaming phone under 15 or even 20,000 rupees go ahead get this phone. The big 5.5 inch screen is perfect for action and arcade games and it's also not too large for everyday normal users. The resolution is full HD with 401 ppi. This IPS panel is also super bright, colorful and the viewing angles are also surprisingly quite good. It's better than that the Moto G4 Plus and close to a Super AMOLED. What is most interesting is you can set the color temperature of the display so you can make the screen warm and this won't strain your eyes if you are playing games for a long time and this also helps in the dark. I always prefer to use this feature on my iPhone 6s Plus for gaming. The speaker is also quite loud, loud enough for a smartphone you might not even need your earphones and my hand also doesn't cover the speaker when I'm handling the phone just like so. Next and the most important hardware on this phone is I think the battery which is as you know crazy 4100 mAh and the phone also doesn't get heat up during gameplay, it gets warm but the temperature doesn't usually cross 40 or maximum 42 degrees Celsius which is quite normal for a gaming phone. You can expect 6 to 10 hours of continuous gaming with this phone which is really impressive for a smartphone. The end of the benchmark score is amazing 58078 which is I think highest in its class and you might already know that this device sports 2.46 GHz quad core crate 400 processor and snapdragon 801 chipset. Though it's an old chipset we have seen the same hardware on flagships like Samsung Galaxy S5 on a 13,500 rupees or 200 dollar phone. This pack is really amazing and on the 3D Mark Gamers benchmark we have got 1211 on the Slingshot 3.0 which is actually double the score I have got on the Moto G4 Plus or Galaxy J7. So this Lenovo device packs the best hardware for its price and the RAM is 3GB and also the internal storage is 64GB guys. We should always prefer internal storage over SD card because it's more reliable and faster. Now while playing the games I will also record the screen to give you a full screen view of the graphics and the performance. Now let's get started with this Nova 3. I want to mention here I faced some freezing issue while playing this game on the Moto G4 Plus so let's see what happens here. Ok the first thing I want to mention here is the speaker which is just fantastic it's quite loud and clear it's of course louder than galaxy j7 and also moto g4 plus now let's play this game for a while Well the gameplay is buttery smooth there is no lag or hiccup whatsoever and I played this game on a lot of devices I think this phone is handling the game as good as any other device the graphics is extremely smooth and detailed the screen is highly responsive and I am really enjoying this game there is nothing much to say actually everything is just fine the new Z1 can easily handle this type of high graphics games. Now I will play this game for a while if you want you can skip to the next one check the description below for the timeline.
the game I'm currently playing is Modern Combat 5 and it's another graphics intensive game. It's one of my favorite actually. On this beautiful full HD screen, the graphics is looking extremely detailed and there is no lag or frame drop. As you can see guys, the gameplay is very smooth, there is no issue at all, I really have no complaint and the back of the phone is also not that much hot, it's slightly warm, the display color rendering is also superb. Now I will play this game for a while, if you want you can skip. Next I will try the very popular Asphalt 8. As you can see guys the graphics is looking extremely bright and smooth on this high resolution display. I have set the highest graphics settings for this game and I don't think there is any issue while playing this Asphalt 8 on this ZUK Z1. It's definitely a very powerful gaming machine though all the other mid-range devices could handle the game. The frame rate of this game on this phone is I think as good as a high-end device in the range of 25,000 rupees. So once again if you are looking for a gaming phone just get this device if your budget is under 15,000 rupees. The Samsung Galaxy J7 is also a good gaming device but the 720p resolution is below par. The loudspeaker is also not good enough. There is nothing much to say you can skip now or enjoy this gameplay with me.
Well guys, the next game I for you is called Overkill 3. It's a very simple game, the graphics level is not as high as the other games I've shown you but still it's around half gig in size and uh, let's see how does this mid level graphics game look on this phone. There is of course no issue and uh, you won't play this game for long. Though it's a mid graphics game, there is no pixelation and the graphics is looking I think smooth. Well, I feel that the frame rate of this game is not as high as I expected but that might be an issue with the game. The smartphone can easily handle this type of games. You can skip to the next part of this video where I will check the temperature. Well enough with the gaming, let's check the temperature and at the front the maximum temperature is 42 degrees celsius which is quite normal and at the back it's around 38 degrees celsius, 41 maximum I think. Let's check the bottom part as well, no trace of overheating so it's really good to see a Chinese branded device not getting overheated during gaming. So overall this ZUK Z1 is the perfect gaming machine for the price of only 13,500 and I do recommend this phone to you guys if you are into gaming. Check the description below for the full review and also the unboxing and hands on. If you wish you can also subscribe and keep in touch with this channel for future updates on this phone. Thanks a lot guys for watching this video.